Actually, I want to sit on that side. So we're going to do our home birth video. And I have my husband here with Clementine. <laughs> okay. So we're just going to share our experience and answer a few questions that we got from people. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to do the questions first and then we'll just talk about our labor. So first is why we chose a home birth, but not just a home birth, but why an unassisted home birth. I've always wanted a home birth because it's more, to me, I feel more comfortable. And two, I don't like hospitals. I just don't like going to hospitals. I don't like the feeling. I don't like being there. It would be an uncomfortable experience if I were to have my baby at a hospital. And when I told him I wanted to have a home birth, you kind of agreed, right? And then why we chose an unassisted home birth. We were going to get a midwife, but I decided I wanted an unassisted home birth. Um, <laughs> because I just wanted it to be me and him. I just don't feel like birth is a medical emergency. It's something that's natural and, you know, we, we can do it on our own unless, you know, I've had complications before. But other than that, I feel like I didn't need anyone and I could have it on my own. And today giving birth has a, a bad image. Like everyone thinks that you're supposed to like freak out or that it's supposed to be excruciatingly painful and like you need help and you need a professional and you need to be rushed to a hospital and it doesn't have to be that way and honestly from our experience like kim didn't even seem like she was in pain i was in pain like, she was <laughs> but it was more like discomfort it wasn't anything crazy she didn't yell not even once i asked him like did i complain when i was in labor was i like complaining about the pain because i don't remember I don't remember. No, she just, she was just in the <laughs> birth pool and she just looked like she was waiting. <laughs> you no, know, like she didn't look like she was suffering or like she was in pain. She just looked like she was waiting. <laughs> I was in pain. <laughs> the next question is, so how we prepared for birth? Well, I got everything from a website and I'll link it below. It's called like in his hands or something like that. I ordered the birth pool with like the liner and the scoop gloves everything it came in like a pack so midwives also order through that site so i'll link it below but that's kind of what i did for like that part so that's kind of what i did for that part and preparing for it mentally um and emotionally so for one i read two books called orgasmic birth and mind change <laughs> And then I watched a bunch of YouTube videos, like hundreds of YouTube videos. Would read stuff on, you know, successful breastfeeding, you know, what happens after birth, postpartum. For like in labor to help me with pain, I got this for myself. <laughs> so I told him I wanted a Siddhartha statue for my birth because I've heard that when you're like going through labor and you focus on something and you breathe through it, it helps a lot and i wanted to look at something that um, inspires me so he got me the siddhartha statue and we had it i had it like right in front of me on this side um when i was laboring yeah this this helped me a lot i think the most <laughs> especially for the pain to not dwell on the pain and just oh my god this is so painful you know i don't think there was any situation that we wouldn't be ready for we were also ready to drive to the hospital if we did have an issue but that didn't happen but i think the biggest preparation was mindset just thinking about how natural it is that's how we really prepared by having that mindset say that quote that quote is good the ford one like there's a quote from henry ford it goes whether you think you can or you can't you're right and something else that we really did to prepare was clean up our diet like try to eat healthy obviously that was all her i didn't have to do that speaking of health she did not take prenatals so the labor i had her on september 16th on a wednesday and on monday morning at 3 a.m i felt like very very light cramps kind of like period cramps and they woke me up but it wasn't um 
nothing crazy but i couldn't go back to sleep after that went on with my day and at 12 midnight that night so tuesday they started getting a little bit like when you have like really strong period cramps but there's still period cramps that's what it felt like again then i couldn't sleep because i was like i was like oh my god is the baby gonna be here yet so i didn't sleep um, at tuesday around 6 6 p.m I told him to set up everything, like the pool and all, um, because it just started getting like really strong. Consistent. And consistent. And he was like, are you sure? Yes. Yes, for sure. He sets up the pool around 7, 8, I don't know. I go in the pool. Uh, it's around like 10 p.m., 10, 11. And I tell him to take a nap because he didn't sleep either. He stayed up with me. So I, I haven't slept since Monday. 3 a.m. He took about an hour nap almost and I was just laboring. They got started getting very very strong three four minutes apart and I can feel it like oh my god like my back was gonna break. It's around 12 a.m. now and I started to let the pain get to me so I woke him up and I told him if he can warm up the pool because it's too cold for me and I want it warmer and I was like okay Kim you need to focus so i looked at my little statue and i had candles everywhere just how i wanted it i had like a weird position i was kind of like this but like on my knees and i focused on the statue and i just you know did my breathing and oh my god it worked so much like if i were to like lay back and go through the contractions i couldn't i don't want to say oh my god like i was gonna die but it was so excruciating like oh my god i can't even believe how painful it was but if i were to get on my on um, my knees and just focus on the statue don't look at anything else just stare at it and then just breathe through it i would just tell myself okay it's just pain what's what is my body doing right now like why am i feeling pain okay my baby's coming where's my baby now I, I would breathe the baby down and i could literally feel her head coming like hitting the bottom and just breathing it down yeah that helped so much the pain was from like a 10 to like a 6 and to warm up the pool, I used the bucket to scoop out all the water. When it was empty enough, I added hot water. Yeah, like clean, fresh water. When the pool was all good, it was about 2 a.m. by then. Right when it was filled to my temperature, I was like, okay, that, that's good, like right there. I literally, two more contractions, and then I started pushing, like that quick. I was like, I just want my pool to be a little warmer. Once it's like all set, then I'm ready to have her. Yeah, once the pool was warmed up, it took maybe five minutes. Okay, it's all set now. Let me have her. It's funny, when I, I wanted to fill her head, it felt <laughs> like a tarantula because she already had so much hair. And I was like, oh my god, what is that? <laughs> she came out and I caught my baby. Yeah, I was on my knees and yeah, just on my knees and I brought her forward. She didn't have any cord wrapped around her. And I was so tired before that. I would go through my contraction on my knees and then I would lay on the pool and take like a little two minute nap. And then I would get up and go through my contraction. Like that's how tired I was. When she came out, it's like, I was so awake. I can run a mile. I was so awake. It was so crazy. And I was like. <gasps> I carried her around and told Kim to focus on her placenta coming out. And it came out after maybe 35 minutes. And then she just sat down and fed her baby. And the baby didn't have any trouble feeding. It's like she already knew what to do. And then Hanta woke up because right when she came out, she started crying. Oh, yeah. It was she, loud. She woke him up. And we brought him here and it was a mess. You know, we had the pool and you know, blood, everything was just here. We brought him on the couch and he's just like half asleep, like, like what is going on? And he sees a baby, he's just like, he didn't even like, react to it i think he was like half sleeping half like what is going on then yeah we we weighed her measured her I checked her heartbeat and everything was fine and then um two days later we went to the hospital to do her newborn screening and yeah and this is just my experience in the end it's up to the person i saw a quote that it says you should have your birth where you feel the most safest and if you feel the safest at a hospital then have your baby in a hospital so here's a quick clip of Clementine being born. <laughs>